Hey guys, I am back with another video. Today I'm going to be doing a tag video. I, um, I've just seen uh, a couple people do this tag and it sounded really, really fun. So I decided to do this tag and it is my intimidating TBR pile tag. Um, the original creator is Lindsay over at Lindsay Ray. I watched a lot of her videos too. And I forgot she did this tag and it sounds really, really fun. So, I decided I want to do this tag, and so I am. Um, there's a total of 10 questions, and yeah, let's just get started. So, what book have you been unable to finish in your TBR? Um, and I have quite a few books that I have DNF'd, um, and quite a few that I have just stopped reading. Um, I just haven't really been able to finish, but... Um, this one I chose because it was my most recent one and also because I really loved the book <coughs> the um, the other book that the author had uh, written and I really really loved that one but this one I just couldn't get through and that is What I Thought Was True by Huntley Fitzpatrick I read My Life Next Door totally loved it this one though I got to 106 pages and um, yeah, my bookmarks in there, and yeah, I'm. I just wasn't sold. I was just really bored, and I put it down. And yeah, I don't know if I'm ever gonna be able to pick this one back up. I just I've tried to pick it up twice, and each time I got kind of just a very little bit farther, and I put it back down. So it's like it sounds good. I just haven't been able to. Alright, so the next one is, what book have you yet uh, yet to read because you just haven't had the time? And that is Miss Born by Brandon Sanderson. Um, if you saw my book haul, I just hauled this, but I have owned the UK cover, The Final Empire, for a long time. And I did start to read that one. I actually took the bookmark out because I want to re you know, reread what I read. But um, I just... Haven't been able to pick it up. It's kind of big. It's a little chunky, and it's fantasy. And it was always like it's a kind of adult fantasy. And that one's always like the hardest for me to get through. Not because it's not good, but because it's you know long and big and like it can be kind of complicated at times. Like young adult fantasy, I really really love, but adult fantasy can take like all these turns and can really complicate things sometimes. But I did love what I read before. But I, yeah. So I'm choosing this one. Uh, what book have you yet to read because it's a sequel? That is Murder of Crows by Anne Bishop. Um, this is the sequel to Written in Red. And I loved Written in Red so much. But I thought the romance could have used a little more. Like, I know it's not supposed to be romance at all, it's supposed to be paranormal. And, you know, it's, I think it's paranormal fantasy stuff like that. Um, or actually, no, I think it's like sci-fi. Oh, it's not sci-fi. I think it's like science fiction fantasy. I think mean, that's the, uh, genre. I don't know. Fantasy. I'm just going to go with fantasy. Um, and again, it's adult fantasy. But I really wanted to see the romance blossom between Meg and Simon, and it doesn't. And I've heard it doesn't in this one either, so I haven't picked it up. But I really loved Written in Red, and so I have a feeling I'm really going to love this one too. I just haven't done it yet. I do plan on picking that up soon though. Um, what book have you yet to read because it's brand new? You just saw my most recent haul, probably. So you would have known I got Lady Midnight because I'm Claire. <coughs> just came out. And so I haven't read it. But that's not the actual reason why I haven't read it. Um, the real reason why I, I haven't read it is because I need to read like five more books before I get to this one. So, tear. <laughs> I, it's going to take me a while. Um, but I do plan on reading or trying to get to this really soon or getting to the series that I need to read. I need to read um, the last three books in the Mortal Instruments plus the Bane Chronicles plus the Tales of the Shadowhunter Academy. So, have a lot to get through before I get to this. Alright, uh, number five. What book have you yet to read because 
you read a book by the same author, but you didn't enjoy it. Now, technically, I did read um, a series by the same author, and I loved the first two books, but I really hated the ending, and I really didn't like the last book. Uh, and I'm talking about Libba Bray's uh, Diviners, I really need to read. The series I read before was Great and Terrible Beauty. Um, I loved A Great and Terrible Beauty, and I loved Rebel Angels, but Sweet for a Thing, I just didn't enjoy it at all, and it like ruined the series for me, and I'm just really afraid that I'm not going to like this one at all either, um, but I do want to give Libba Bray another chance. Uh, number six is, what book have you yet to read because you're just not in the mood for it? Now this I've had on my shelf for a really long time, um, quite a few years, and I just haven't been in the mood to pick it up, and that is The Coldest Girl in Cold Town by Holly Black. Also because this is another one where I've read a book by the same author, and or part of a book by the same author, and didn't enjoy it. Um, I've tried to read quite a few Holly Black books did not enjoy them. Uh, I believe it was Doll Bones, The Iron Trial, I think I tried to read Tithe or however you say that one. Um, but this one sounded good. It's about vampires though and I haven't really been in the mood to read about vampires in a while. So we'll see though. I really do want to get to this one. Hopefully I like it. What book have you yet to read because it's humongous? That is The Name of the Wind by Patrick Rothfuss. Now, actually, I started to read this. I got 11 pages in, and I was enjoying it, but I just, it's so huge. Guys, it's, oh, how many pages is it? It's not as big as I thought. Wow, it doesn't even, 662 pages. And it's adult fantasy, so, you know, and it's got really tiny print. So, yeah, I'm like, like, I don't know if I could do this. I really want to. Everyone's saying it's so, so good. And I got the UK cover, too. I, I, oh my god. I really need to fit. I really need to get to this one. Everyone's been reading it. Everyone's been saying, right, you know, just been raving about it. I really need to pick it up. Um, number eight. Oh, what book have you yet to read? Because, uh, it was a cover by, but turned out to have really poor reviews. And... I bought this one quite a few years ago as well. That is Ruby Red by Kristen Gear, or Kirsten Gear. Um, and I know this is a German translation, I believe. The cover is gorgeous, and I have the rest of the trilogy over there as well. Um, so I have the whole trilogy, but I haven't heard like what when I first came out. I heard some really good things. It's like now I'm not hearing anything like really good about it, but I'm not really hearing anything about it, really. Um, you know, it's got time travel. Like, I've heard a couple of good things, but I've also heard some really bad things about it, too. So, I'm really hoping that I enjoy it, because the cover is so pretty, and the rest of them are really pretty. But, I have almost unhauled this book, like, three or four times, and I haven't yet, because I, I still really feel like I want to give this a chance before I just get rid of it. Um, but yeah, I'm like really afraid I'm not going to like this. And number nine is what is the, mo er, the most, inti uh, most intimidating book in your TBR? What is the most intimidating book in your TBR? Okay. This is insane. And that is Outlander by Diana, G Diana Gabaldon. And I got the 20th anniversary edition too. And it comes with a, uh, oh, can't even get it open, because of the CD. And it's really, really pretty. It's really gorgeous. I loved it. I owned another copy. I also have it on my Kindle. I have tried to read this quite a few times. But again, it's adult fantasy, and it's freaking huge. This one is also 600 and... 62 pages. Okay, this is also 662 pages, and it's like really kind of tiny print. So, yeah, this I feel like is the most intimidating book I have. It's the most gorgeous, I feel like it's one of the most gorgeous books I've ever owned, but 
I don't know if I can read it. I really want to watch a TV show, but I just don't know if I can read the book because it just it's just really big. It's like really big. And number 10 is who do you tag? And I tag anybody who watches this video because it is a lot of fun and it really gets you to like look at your TBR shelves because as you can see I have a lot of books I need to like read. So yeah, it really gets you to look at them and you know finally see like I need to read these books. So yeah, that's it for me today guys and thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.